Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at the compile service in AngularJS. Uh, this is going to get a little bit meta. Uh, what the compiler service does is it turns all your HTML into controllers and directives and uh, all that good stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a controller that uh, creates directives, basically. Uh, so we're going to start off creating our directive and it's going to be a really simple directive. Whoops, sorry, directive. I'm going to call it BTN and all it's going to do is it's going to create a button. Uh, so let's return and on this we're going to restrict to uh, an element and let's see, we're going to have a scope. We're going to have an attribute called val, val and uh, that'll just be equal to the attribute in the directive. And then our linking, sorry, I keep doing that. Our link function, we're just going to, we're just going to make it clickable. So scope, element, attributes, oops, in the wrong key there. And so uh, what we're going to say is the element that on click is going to alert uh, the val attribute. Okay, seems easy enough. Uh, oh, you know what? We need a template here. So template, again, it's just going to create a button. So button and then inside of that we're going to have our val then we're going to close our button okay so let's get one of these on the page uh, button Oops. val equals we'll say 10 and then we'll close that let's load that up over here ah unexpected identifier new comma after the template let's reload that all right so we got this button and it alerts its value. That's a little too zoomed in, so there we go. All right, so now let's wrap all this up in a controller, and we'll call this uh, 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 controller. That'll do. We'll go ahead and put this in there, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have an input field uh, equals, with a model of val and then oops, we're gonna have a button uh, that uh, so we'll use ng click on this one equals add val and uh, we'll just say add on that okay so let's take a look at this really quick and you know what we want to have something that we can append our uh, new directives to so we're gonna have a, dir a, a div here with an ID of holder and uh, everything broke. Oh, well, we don't, we haven't created the controller yet. So, controller, uh, controller, into that, we are going to inject scope and compile. Oops. And then in our function, we'll go ahead and use those scope compile and then let's get all this connected up and let's just run that really quick make sure everything is still working awesome okay so in our controller uh, all we really need is that function that creates the new uh, BTN directive uh, so scope dot add equals function it's gonna take in a value right yeah uh, and then, so what we're going to say, let's see here, we are going to create a new button. So let's say var ptn equals, and let's just try this with, just with the text right off the bat. Uh, so let's take this, drop it in there, and here we'll say our value equals uh, the value that we passed in. And then what we're going to say is element. Well, uh, we need to get the element. So Angular dot element uh, get element by ID. And our ID was holder. And to that, we're going to append 
uh, this btn variable. Okay, so what do we need to do up here? Uh, we need to bring in that valve. So we've got this ng model equals valve, so we're bringing in the whatever text we plug into that. So let's try this out really quick, and let's look at our elements here. Let me drag this out so we can see a little better. Uh, that won't get any smaller. Okay, so here's our controller, and here's our holder. And now when we type something in here and we hit add, uh, nothing's happening. Let's look at our console. No errors there. Add val. Oh, you know what? The function needs to be add val. All right, let's reload that. Add our val. And now if we look down here, you can see it actually did add it, but it doesn't know what to do with it. It's treating it as though, uh, you know, the HTML, the browser is saying that there's nothing in HTML called BTN. So it's not actually... Uh, compiling it because we haven't used the compile service yet but it is I mean it's functioning it's doing what it's supposed to do uh, but since it's being added after you know everything's been compiled it's not getting compiled so let's go ahead and compile that by passing it to the compile service or function and then one thing you need to do with the compile function or service is you need to pass it the uh, context in which we want to use it so right now I'm passing it the current scope so that's the scope of the controller uh, so let's try that out reload this we've got our 10 our original you know standalone directive totally works let's add another one now we're actually seeing something and it's uh, producing the expected results we're gonna add another one when I click on this I want to see five hours five hours no problem so and we can just keep adding these and uh, and that's you know it's compiling them to the actual directive that we required now another thing we could do here uh, or at least we should take a look at is let's say I'm passing in this val uh, which is to be interpolated I guess is the word uh, so now what's going to happen here since we're passing in the context of the scope of the controller this val right here is going to be bound to the val of the controller uh, so that'll be neat let's reload this say we're adding one here add when i click on that i get the aaa uh, but now when i change this you can see it's updating that directive because it's bound to this value and if i add a whole bunch of them you can see all of them are being updated, but they all still function properly. The value. And when I click on it, I get the value. The value. Uh, so it's so it's bound to the scope of the controller, but it's, it's creating a new directive, uh, which is awesome. And it works exactly as we expected it to. Uh, so there you go. Like I said, this was going to be a little bit meta, uh, but hopefully you see the value of the compile function, or if anything, you can see how... Angular internally uses the compile function to, uh, you know, take all those directives and then it's using the parse service, obviously, in some of these cases to evaluate whatever expression you're passing in, uh, but that's how it works. Um, so there you go. That is the compile service in AngularJS. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good one.